Hey guys, it's GTSS here, back with another video. And in this video, I'll be going over Windows 10 build 9879 and the awesome new features in it. Now, I will be making a, another video later about how to actually get Windows 10 on your PC, but for now, I'm just going to be showing you guys some new features, sort of walk you through the operating system. So without further time waste, let's get started. So the biggest, biggest new addition to this operating system by far is the start menu, and here we go. Boom. So, as you can see here, the left side is very, very Windows 7-esque. You've got your most used apps, some pinned things, and you've also got your profile and your power. So, again, just like Windows 7, you've got all your apps where you've got a shortcut to any installed apps you've got, in addition to Metro apps, which I will be talking about shortly. And on the side here, you've got your Metro app shortcuts, which I actually found to be very useful. I can just click on this, or I can also see the date very quickly. Happy New Year, everyone. So, what you can do with these is just drag and drop them, and as you can see, your start menu will adjust in size uh, smartly. And, oh, I don't want to uninstall that. I just want to remove it. So, you can also change the length and width of your start menu right here. You can make it super tall, or you can also make it Stout. Now, this is something new to Windows 8, uh, or Windows 10, I should say. Previous versions of the start menu operating systems, you couldn't actually change the size. Now, search still remains a big part of it, so, um, if you search something, it's, it still, you know, takes you to Bing. Uh, it still does all that stuff. It doesn't actually use Google. And it's, as you can see here, very, very buggy. Um, but it works, uh, in this build, at least, the search is Bing instead of your actual search window, but I'm sure that'll be improved. There are some bugs, as you saw there when I searched, the color changed for some reason. But overall, the start menu's back, and it works just like you would expect. You can ha you have your dropout, and everything works well here, in the start menu at least. And moving on to the next big feature in Windows 10 is Task View, which is pretty much multiple desktops. So pressing Windows Tab or this little task view button here, which you can remove, by the way, takes you to this screen, and as you can see, I have one window open, my screen recorder, but I can also add a desktop now. Now, this is something that's available in Linux and Mac for a long time, but it's coming to Windows, so I have two desktops open now. I can switch to these desktops by Windows Control and then your arrow keys, as you can see there. And this is something very unique to... Uh, Windows. I mean, this has never been in Windows. I can just close a desktop by doing that. So, this is a great feature for productivity users. I'm going to be using it a lot, and it's definitely good to see this in Windows 10. Now, another small feature I wanted to go over is the notification center that was just added in build 9879. When, if you get a new notification from any application, mostly Metro ones for now, uh, it shows it to you right here. So, even if you do miss that notification, it'll just pop up right here in a star will be there. So, moving on to one of the biggest features of Windows 10 is the new implementation of Metro Apps. So, I'll open up, let's see, I'll open up Calculator, for example. Now, in Windows 8 and 8.1, this used to be full screen. You could only minimize and close it. You had to, you could not restore down, and you could not see your taskbar unless you hovered your mouse cursor over it. But now, you can actually do all that sort of stuff. So, first of all, you know, this works just as you'd expect. Um, you know, it's it's great, it's functional, there's all sorts of little things you can do with it. It's a very functional calculator, um, but you can actually change the shape of it, you can restore it down, you can change the shape of it, and most apps will smartly sort of change the UI as you're going. As you can see here, this would be something like a phone app, and all of a sudden you're in your desktop or tablet. So this is pretty good. Uh, I really like the new implementation of these, it's just like any other... 32-bit or 64-bit app, except for the task, uh, the title bar. That's black for some reason, but I definitely like how the charms are gone now. You don't get them by accidentally putting your mouse over here. You can still get to them by Windows C, but as you see here, the charms are in this little hamburger icon, which I really liked. If you actually want to do something, you can just click it from there. This is a very good implementation, and you can always go back to your bad full screen way and it's it's a great way to handle metro apps in my opinion and it's the way it should have been done in windows 8 in the first place so 
moving on now is the last topic I wanted to talk about in this video about Windows 10, and that is the new animations for closing and minimizing windows. So I'm going to open up File Explorer here. As you can see right there, that was a pretty nice animation. Now minimizing and, rest and uh, bringing it back into view has a pretty amazing animation to be honest with you. I'm a big fan of it. Um, I'm loving this. Now the newer builds that are still in the beta and have not been passed down yet actually have an animation for restoring and maximizing and they look pretty sweet. But for now we're stuck to minimizing and closing out. The closing out one still looks pretty amazing. I mean these animations are good. And I'm just seeing a lot of polish throughout the UI, something Windows uh, 8 and 8.1 were obviously missing. Uh, and they're also going to be unifying the uh, context menus when you right click. For example, on the desktop, when you right click, it's blue when you select. And in the start menu, it's going to be white and gray, the theme. So they're going to be unifying that as well. But just overall, it, Windows 10 is really looking great. I actually use these Metro apps a lot because I'm not stuck in full screen mode. All the snap features of it works. Uh, it's just a great, I, I'm liking these a lot. Everything just works. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, um, last thing, trackpad gestures are new. Now, none of them actually work yet, but they are definitely coming in the next builds where a three finger slide up and down will bring up task view, a three finger slide to the left and right will switch between desktops. So very Mac-like experience, but it's definitely good to see some polish coming to the Windows platform, and it's definitely good to see some better advanced features, and of course, it's good to see the return of this guy. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Definitely hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave uh, me a like, and uh, tell me in the comments below what you guys think of Windows 10. And stay tuned to this channel and subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot of Windows 10 coverage now that I actually have the operating system on my PC. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.